everybody, how are you? This is Runaby Budge by the well-known author Charles Dickens with two Ks. What are you talking about? <laughs> Here in New Zealand there are a lot of Asian grocery shops and I go to them all the time to buy that milk tea that I'm addicted to. Every time I go I always walk around and see all these things that I'm like what is that? And I thought it would be really fun, especially to get Mr. Al, as you can call him. I thought it would be fun to get him to try, well, and I want also to try, some things that really gave me like a what the fuck moment. I have a terribly unadventurous Yeah, that's palette. what I was about to say, is that you like bland food. I like very bland, very plain, yeah. very boring yeah. food. Yeah, you're like a potatoes and bread kind of guy. Yes. There's a lot of foods that I feel like, you know, you grow up with that other cultures, people from other countries would look at and go, ooh, how can you possibly have that? Like, I've grossed out many people in my life by putting milk in my tea. Marmite is something marmite is from very New Zealand polarizing. that grosses a lot of people. Oh yes, but then there's British Marmite, which is also completely different. There's some things you just have to grow up with in order to like. So I've got a quite a large collection of stuff that I've found at the Asian grocery shop from various different countries and I just basically, anything that gave me a what the fuck moment when I saw it, I thought I would get it and we can try it. I just had to biff something outside. Yeah. Yeah, well there was going to be like one cooked thing, like all these things are just kind of snacks. There was one thing I wanted to cook, because I was really intrigued to try making lotus chips. You know, like... Oh, uh, is that what they were? That's what they were. I got a bag of sliced lotus root. It didn't seem to be off or anything according to the date on the bag, but... Yeah, oh something, my something god! Was up. I don't something know! Was up. Like, I opened the bag and just, it was this powerful scent of rotting oh, eggs, like look, really sulfur. It went through the entire house. Oh, and it had to put a fan on. I mean, there I are those like, foods uh, that smell uh, bad and then you cook them and they're kind of okay, but... but one thing that's potentially gag-worthy. Mm. Um, everything else I think is just a bit strange. Okay. I've got quite a lot of um, snacks and drinks as well. So maybe we'll like, we'll mix them up. Let's start with something nice. These are, well, I mean, there's no English on it. These are yogurt flavoured chips. It doesn't sound awful, it just sounds odd. I know, doesn't it? China. These are from China. Okay. Yogurt flavoured chips. Yogurt so. flavoured chips. Smells odd. Mm. That is not as good as I expected. I kind of thought maybe it would taste a bit like kelper or so. something. It's kind of lolly or something it reminds me yeah. of. Yeah. It's like it's a salty potato chip with some kind of weird lolly flavour. It's like fizzy. Almost. There's something fizzy about it. Am I imagining that? I feel like I could eat a packet of it and just look very confused the entire time. Oh, it's just going to annoy me. I wouldn't me. buy this again. No. Mm -mm. If you like a, a palate cleanser, should we have a little sip of a drink in between each thing? Because I've got well, quite a few. okay, why not? Yeah, yeah. Right. This must be popular because I've seen it. It's in the supermarket, it's everywhere, and I've never yeah. tried it. This is a grass jelly drink. Grass jelly? I know. Who fucking looks at grass and thinks, man, I should really <laughs> smash that? Well, I don't know if it's made from actual grass. Who isn't a cow? It's from Malaysia. It might have chunks in Gotta it. Gotta mix up the grass and the jelly. <laughs> the, uh, Liquid. It said shake well before opening, but all right. Smell like anything. All right, so sip some. That's very weird. You know what it tastes like to me? Is a dusty drawer. I'm not it sure how it feels. It does taste like plants. It's an acquired taste. It's like a tea made out of something that's closer to grass than tea leaves. Yeah, that's a good description. Yes, we're going to tell it transformed. Grape. Woof. Grape soda flavored chips. Sure. Or crisps, right. depending where you come from. Kind of as an aftertaste, it reminds me of grapes. Of when you go out and stick your face in a grape plant, like when it's on the vine, and inhale that. When have you done that? Like in my life, <laughs> at some point. I worked at a vineyard, but it was winter time, so there weren't any grapes. It reminds me much more of a grape plant than you know, grape flavour mm. or anything like it's that. It's like real grape. Yes. Yeah, real grape. Again, I don't think I would buy it again, but I don't dislike it. No, it's not. It's not bad, it's just odd. It was just odd. So this here, yeah. it's a milk tea. Okay. It just looks like what I thought at first glance, like any other ordinary milk tea. Yep. You know how I always drink that Assam milk tea, I... British milk tea, the Ceylon milk tea, there's tons of different kinds of milk tea. And they're all more or less the same, but there was one feature on this that stood out to me on upon close inspection. Can you see what it is? A little house there. That's not a house. It looks like a house. What, do, what else does it look like? Yeah, elephant with holes in its head. How are you getting that? Can we just read the English? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's milk tea with cheese. Cheese milk tea. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Well, I think, you know, I think we know exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Mm, I'm, a, I'm a connoisseur of milk tea. Oh, man. Oh, I'm scared of this one, though. 
Yeah. Christ, that's weird. It tastes round. I wouldn't say it tastes super cheesy. Quite milky, and you can you can taste the tea. There's taste the tea up. notes. Well, it tastes but, yeah, like then, tea, but there's something yeah, else. Yeah, but on top of that, there's something up. There's something that should not be. It See, reminds me more of mold it, than of it's tea. It's a cup of cold tea, and someone's just chucked one <sighs> of those wedges. Someone's in it. If you gave us to me to figure out what the uh, other flavour was, I'd yeah, I, I'm not sure I would guess that it was it's cheese. It's just I just feel like it's wrong. It yeah. just seems like it's off or something. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can just eat these raw. So. Oh god. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't like them. Yeah. Well, I just thought they looked really interesting. These are palm seeds. I believe they're popular in the Philippines and are used as part of a cold dessert. I'm not good at this. I need to do it. You please do it, I'm too stupid. There you go. Thank you. Okay. They go into things like fruit salads. It's like ghost grapes. Can you see that? It's some really thick syrup. Yeah. It does look like ghost grapes, doesn't it? <coughs> okay. Ghost grapes and ectoplasm. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't just eat them plain like this. A little bit yucky. Mm. A little bit like a sewer. Mm. Doesn't really yeah, taste good anything. Grapes. Not unpleasant, just quite bland, really. Seems like something you'd add to something just mm. for the texture, really. Yeah, it's got a good texture. Yeah, it is. It's good texture, pretty much no taste. Yeah. The only taste is really the syrup, which is slightly sweet. And I can imagine using that in some sort of dessert or something, just mm. to introduce that texture into it. Yeah, just to like fill up the fruit salad. And just think, you were so doubtful. You know, sometimes it's good, to, it's good to try new things. So here's another crunchy snack. These are made of corn. I think corn. they're made in China. These are these are eel flavor. You fucking what, mate? These are eel flavored corn snacks. I've never had eel. Have you never had eel? I've never had eel. I've had eel more than once. I've had two different prepared. I've had eel sushi, which was horrible. It's a strong, it's a strong smell. I've, I've, I've had fresh fried eel. Not the best hangover food. Screwed. <laughs> a ration or something. It tastes quite a lot of seaweed. It tastes quite good. A little bit seaweedy. I would eat this. I yeah, eat just. This it's got like the exact texture of a cheetah. I don't really taste any eels, but then I don't really know what eel tastes like. It will just taste like a sort of oily fried fish. Tastes pretty good actually. Don't be put off by their ugliness. Um, so this is one that we saw recently at the supermarket. Mm. And I told you, hey, don't worry, because I got I like, some for us to try. I like the can. It's quite cute. You like the little red can? Well, I like the little man on the little red can. The little man on the little red can. You saw recently and you were like horrified with the name. This is a... Uh, oh, dear God. <laughs> yeah. Hot kid milk. That's... It must sound innocuous and... <laughs> Is it for like over warm children? Is it made from Maybe. over warm children? No. Is it made of? No. Is it I made would... from cooked children? No, oh, no, if it's cold, maybe it's for children who are thermally distinguished by their temperature. That didn't really make sense as a sentence. It didn't make any sense. You know what I'm trying general. to say. To avoid explosion, it's from China. How good can the English have been that that was run past the person <laughs> as like an well, English brand name? name. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's a great name. That'll really sell in People like English speaking work. countries. It's for sale everywhere. No comment. Refreshing. Very nice actually. It's quite a small size too, mm. so that's kid appropriate, like it. I suppose. Taste it. Can you tell me what you think it tastes like? Mm. It tastes like a uh, condensed milk. Yes, milk. exactly. I was going to say it tastes like condensed milk, sweetened milk, I guess. It's actually pretty good. It, it is, is pretty good. Pretty Give good. it back. No, Hot I would drink milk. that. I mean, I wouldn't drink it because of the name. I like it. Mm, cool. I mean, yes, yeah, sort of. Well, another fishy type thing. Yeah. These are crab roe, which is eggs. So crab yeah. egg flavored broad beans. I like broad beans. As do I. I, like I, I haven't beans. had crab roe before. Neither have I. I like salmon roe. I haven't actually had crab. Uh, oh, that smells like paint. Oh, it's an individual little things. Uh, so I guess it's for school mm -hmm. lunch boxes. This packet smells like paint. Paint, yes. with, paint with lipstick. It smells like paint. <laughs> yeah, like dried broad beans. Yeah. Oh, they're okay. tiny. They're very small. It smells fishy. And crunchy. Ugh. Ooh, that's strongly fishy. It's okay. It's all right. I'm surprised you like it because you like fish a lot less than I do. It smells fishy. It doesn't taste as fishy as it smells. Oh, it smells very fishy. I would eat it. I would eat that. The smell of it is like those little, it's like cat biscuits. How about something nice next? Something nice and sweet? So these are from Korea. They're also sort of corn snacks. And right. they're, they're banana flavoured. Banana and corn, two flavours I would not have thought to put together. That honestly does seem to be what a lot of these things Ooh. are. But it's just... 
Well, like I said, everything that I was like, what? Let's just roll a die. Okay. There, and was, there was one thing that I could not buy that was the most what the fuck thing I'd seen. Yeah. And I put it on Instagram on story, which was that bird nest so soda. Bird's nest soda. Made with real white fungus. I have heard of bird's nest soup. Yes, that's totally a thing. Apparently it's like a bit of a delicacy. It's what really does it good. taste like? Just I don't want, I don't know. I was so curious. I wanted to buy it, but I thought Sticks. because it's got fungus in it, I'm allergic to some oh, fungi. Yeah. And I thought I don't really want an allergic reaction just to taste something. I but you're not allergic to me. This might be, despite me being a fun guy. Fun guy. <laughs> I could do a fake banana. It's that kind of corn that's like all fluffy and it's just a texture. I'd eat these. More than anything with like super fake banana flavour. It's mostly air. Yeah, I'd eat these. It's yeah. Fine. Next thing I've got, it's right. quite small, but there were a lot of things with this ingredient, but I, I couldn't get, you can't get the actual thing, right? Malaysia. So this is from Malaysia. It's just a, it's just a small wee thing. Swiss roll? It's a Swiss roll, but it's pandan flavour. I don't remember what pandan is. Neither do I. Oh. But, mm -hmm. but it was used in a lot of sweet desserty type things. And I okay. think it's like a kind of palm. Good. It's always bright green too. Everything pandan is always green. It's like, almost like coconut. Yeah, it's almost like coconut, but not quite coconut. But not quite coconut. It's like a kind of vanillary coconut. A vanillary coconut. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'd yeah. eat that. Uh, I'd smash that. I'm going to leave, I think, the grossest thing, the, the most potentially bad thing for last. Sure. This one here I've seen around a lot, so it must be popular, it must be good. Have you seen this around for sale? No. Basil seed drink. I mean, I do like basil as a flavouring. It's from Thailand. Can't think that I would enjoy it as a drink. Uh, I will Yarn do my best. Mmm. It's got texture. Uh oh. Ah, mm. how weird that is. Very sweet. Yeah, it tastes like syrup and it's, you know, you can spot seeds. But oh, you can see one there. What it looks a bit like a chia seed. How do you describe that flavour? Oh, if you try to crunch them, they aren't crunchy. They're not chewy either. To me, it tastes like um, like a sort of off. Lolly. I don't know what to compare it to. No, I don't it, dislike it. No, it's don't, not that I don't bad. Dislike it. It's just much too sweet. Sweet. It's much and too sweet. And a weird texture for a drink. The next mm. thing, I thought this was something I had to cook, but you can <clears> eat it raw apparently, <throat> so I guess we won't die if we eat a piece of this each. Banana blossom. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I learned about these a little bit. The flower is like this big. Eventually that turns into bananas, but you can eat it when it's in that state. Uh, it's used now as like a meat alternative for vegans who want to make fake fish. Similar yes. te texture I, I of I think fish. that is the context. It says the vegan oh, food. Oh dear. Ooh, it looks very sexy, doesn't it? Oh, I don't like the look of that. Apparently it's sort of similar to like an artichoke. Um, I don't like artichoke. Well, you're having a wee piece. Oh, that stinks. Not really. It just smells sort of like dirt. Ugh, a little, no. a little bit of dirt. Do not like. Well, tough biscuits, you're having one. Okay. If I die, you're coming with me. Oh, it's from Thailand as well. Check out a wee bit. Uh, oh, it's very flaky, isn't it? Let's try a little bit. Like, yeah. Mmm. It is like artichoke. Ugh. <laughs> like I said, I hate fucking artichoke. It's not as sour as artichoke. It's quite bland. It doesn't really taste of anything. I think probably the, the, the stuff that it's floating in is what's got that nasty well, I think sort it, of I taste. Think, yeah. No. Go on. How no, funny no. a thing it is. Look, it does look like a sort of elongated artichoke, sort of. Yeah, the texture is certainly similar to fish. Do you know what these are? Mango steam nectar. Me, uh, you ever had a mango steam before? No, I haven't. You, well, I have. I had a mango steam once in my life in Thailand. Mm -hmm. while I was there for one day on a stopover. I was there with a Taiwanese family for the day. They had some. This weird little round purple fruit. White segments are the part that you eat mm. on the inside, and like they're, they're soft and fleshy. Mmm. Mmm. That's very pleasant. It mm. is. It's nice. It's sort of a little like bland passion fruit juice. Yes, I would say dialed down mm. passion fruit, not so tart. I like it very much. Yeah, it's good. I would buy this again. Yeah. I saw the name on that. <laughs> yes, as you just noticed. This, this must be from Korea. Yeah, they are. Oh, these are cuttlefish snack made with real cuttlefish. Oh my god. Whoa, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh man! Been to a handful of just you know raw fish markets. Same, I've been that, to a fish market in Japan. That's what they smell like. That's exactly what it smells. Like. Oh, this is a tough one for me. I'm nostalgic. My dad was a squid fisherman. What to go first? What should we go at the same time? Oh. Three, two, one. Hmm, actually fine. Yeah, it's actually fine. The flavour is very mild. 
It is. Although the smell is not. No. It's got a bit of an aftertaste that is reminiscent of the smell. Yes. I feel like it would give you bad breath. Yes. I, I'm not having no, I'm not having another one. Next one I think is probably quite mild. Chrysanthemum tea. Well, that's interesting because I have no idea what a chrysanthemum would yes. sound like. Would sound like? I don't Taste think it sounds like. like anything. I was Taste. about to say you don't know what a chrysanthemum is. Like it's a I, flower, I, right? I, I, it's from Malaysia, this one. Oh, there's a bit of steam coming out the top. Quite a lot of it, actually. It tastes like a daisy smell. It's like a sweet lawn. You're right, it does. Maybe mm. more of a buttercup. Or maybe chrysanthemum. It does taste like a garden. It's not bad, it's just weird. It seems to be the theme of the day. It does taste like daisies. More floral than your average garden daisy. I don't dislike it, I would drink no. it out of politeness. So I'm saving what I hope will be the worst for last, but I thought these are pretty weird. This is from Thailand. Yeah. And these are rings. Milk flavoured rings. They are, I guess they're made of Corns? My theory with these, they will taste fine and smell weird. Milk flavoured corn Yeah, They smell like... Bad! Ah! Very bad! Not as bad as fucking cuttlefish. Oh texture. my god, and they're like, so weird. They're powdery. It is like eating milk powder. It's like eating milk powder. It's exactly like eating milk powder. Which is not great. <laughs> it's not so much as bad, it's just stupid. <laughs> Why now that I've had this? a couple, I kind of want more. Oh shit, I'm suddenly by myself. That's weird. One of the things that I was particularly looking forward to trying that I thought was particularly weird, I completely forgot about it because it had to stay in the freezer. So Mr. L's gone to bed, so I'll have to get him to try one on an Instagram story or something. When I saw these, I had to get them because they were just such a what the fuck item. And that would be this mung bean ice cream. Yes. Mung bean ice cream. I'll get him to try it eventually, but right now I have to do it by myself. I can't believe I forgot this. I feel really stupid. When I found these, I was like, why? Oh, it smells like freezer burn. I mean, it might not actually be freezer burn, but it just it smells like a bag of vegetables that's been in the freezer for too long. Mung bean milk ice bar. Now has a popsicle ever looked so unappealing as this one does. Ooh, why? Oh, that is very wrong. Ooh, the taste I would I would say is a little bit like a lentil, but worse. Very bad. That's a really weird texture. Look at that shit. Would you eat mung bean ice cream? There's like bits of it sticking to the inside of my mouth. It's a whole new meaning to frozen dinner. It, no, this is one of the weirdest things I've ever eaten in my life. These are from Taiwan, so if there are any Taiwanese people watching, why? There's literally mung beans in there surrounded by milk. Mung bean ice cream is definitely a no from me. Anyway, Carrying on. We've got one more drink here to try. Uh, this is also from Malaysia. Sugar cane. Yes, sugar cane drink. Oh, well, I can't um, believe I didn't get a tamarind drink. I, I thought I had one, but maybe another time. I'm prepared to be impressed. What does that face mean? What is the furrowed brow saying? Actually, you know what it tastes like? Just cold water that sugar has been dissolved in. It tastes like pool water. Pool water? Mm. I don't drink oh, pool water. Oh, neither, but it, it, to me it's got it's a little bit reminiscent of pool water. Pool water. Water with sugar in it. Water with chlorine like in me. it. To me it's almost like how would you feel about water with sugar in it. Just I don't hate tea. it, it just doesn't really seem like a drink. The last thing I've got here could be quite <clears throat> bland or it could be terrible. Alright. Are you familiar with durian fruit? Oh! <laughs> I was talking with my friends on Discord. They said, well, you know, whatever you do, just don't go near the durian fruit. <laughs> That's what they said. And I was like, oh, she wouldn't have done that to me. Oh, what, well, what, I would what? have if I could have afforded it, you see, because uh, they did have durian fruit there, but they were very expensive. Yeah. This is durian candy. Alright. This is the, the closest I could get to the real thing. Thank you, Doke. It might not be that bad, it might just be fine. It might just be like just the pleasant taste of durian. If you're not familiar with durian, some people say it powerfully smells of like garbage or rotting body parts. Hmm. So far it just tastes like a toffee. I'm a bit scared of crunching it. My teeth will just break, it's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh. There's a little bit of, Oh, well, there we go. It's quite faint, but it's there. It tastes of Flatus, that's the best way I could describe it. Has it kicked in for you yet? It's not really. Not good. A bit sulfurous. Will you go for <clears> another one then? Just to be sure? I you mean, don't know. It, well. Crunch that bad boy. To me, it's just not very good toffee. Mmm, there it goes. Tastes faintly of flatus. Exactly. Oh, Christ! Oh, mm. that's a stronger one. Oof. Is it a lottery? Well, if that one was stronger, then maybe. Oh the my one, god! Maybe the one I got before was. 
So this one's definitely stronger than the one I had before. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. Are you getting okay, it? Okay, yeah, I'm getting it. Oh. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that's that's not cool. <laughs> I'm gonna wow! Oh, oh. <laughs> it tastes like a bin. It does, it tastes like a bin. <laughs> oh, yuck! I'm not touching this. Fuck! No, thank you. I'm Why would you do this to yourself? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for that. Oh, you're welcome. If that's any indication of what fresh durian fruit is like. Yeah, I'm against it. Oh, why would you eat that? Which one of these would you be most keen to try, and which one would you definitely not try? Would you join us in trying the durian fruit candy? Um, or are there any of these things that you have tried before? Because I know that we've got we've got belfry bats from all over the world, and it's always so exciting to see where everybody comes from. Like, really everywhere. Like, it, it surprises me sometimes. So if any of you are like, from the parts of the world, anywhere that you're familiar with these things, tell us if you like them or if you've had them before. <laughs> and please, somebody explain to us why the hell it's why called. this is called hot kid milk. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. It's been illuminating. It has been that. I feel a bit gross now after that weird combination of flavors. I feel like those fizzy chips are like bubbling inside me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We have certainly enjoyed making it. Well, I have at least. It was a time. It was a time. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Come and join us. You know you want to. Can I do it too? Yes, you can. You can't oh, click on these before. anymore. You used to be able to click on them. Now you can't. You have to click on the button below, but you know how that works. If you've ever eaten anything particularly weird, why don't you tell us what that is? I would be fascinated to know. And as always, take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bing.